So today I'm going to be testing out the PS4 Remote Play app. Uh, I am at my office on my PC and uh, I'll be connecting to my PlayStation at home. Now, uh, with the various internet speeds between my house and the office, I have a 20 megabit connection from my office to my house and a 10 megabit connection from my house to the office. The first thing you're going to absolutely need is uh, one of these DualShock uh, adapters for USB. I ordered this on Amazon. I think it was about $20 to $25. I tried to use this generic PC controller, but it does not work at all. It will work for PC games, but it does not work on the PlayStation app. So you absolutely have to have this uh, DualShock USB adapter. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and attach this to my PC. So we're going to start here, and I'm going to click pair the controller and wireless adapter. Uh, and I've already plugged in the uh, adapter to the USB, so now all I have to do is hold down the share button and the PS button at the same time. So I'm gonna hold share and hold PS for three seconds. And it says it's going to close that window when it's finished. So we got a couple of lights flashing here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and press settings here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and increase all of my options to the best. I'm gonna to go to 1080p. Uh, that's fine. Uh, and I'm gonna to go to high frame rate. Hit OK here, and on my controller, I can press the Options button to start, or I can click Start right here. 1080p probably wasn't the best selection for a 10 megabit connection, so I may have some issues, and I may lower it to 720, but I want to see what it looks like. Okay, you can see I, I have these options here, where I can uh, choose uh, to use my mouse to input some things. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to full screen. a quick play game of Overwatch. Let's go ahead and just do like a training. Uh, practice range. So now I have sound coming through the controller. So that's that's very cool. So you can use a headset. This is actually not bad at all. I really like this. Uh, it's not something I'd want to do every day because there is a little bit of a lag and my aim kind of sucks so I'm not the greatest but I'm actually doing pretty good. It's, uh, it's very usable. You can kind of see the lag, but it's really not all that, uh, really not all that bad. It's definitely doable. Okay, I'm gonna go to settings and I'm gonna bring that resolution down to 720. I'm gonna keep the high frame rate because that seemed to be doing okay. And we'll go ahead and hit start. I should also note here that my uh, PC has a ethernet hardwired connection and my PlayStation at home also has a hardwired connection go back to full screen and yes oh this is this is a, this is quite a bit faster uh, I can feel it so here's here's what the delay looks like now, that's not bad it's really not bad at all, and the graphics look really good. I can't tell if it's my inaccuracy or if it's uh, the game's lag, but it's doing a really good job. So let's let's try a different game. Let me use my PlayStation button here. Close this app. Okay, so this is actually a lot more responsive than the PSTV. Uh, still has a little bit of a delay, but uh, I think more responsive, and the, definitely the quality is significantly. So overall, uh, the $25 for the adapter was definitely worth it. Uh, it, it works really well uh, remotely. You need at least 10 megabits going both directions, upload and download. If you're on one of those DSL connections where you've got 10 megabits download speed but 768K upload, it's not going to work so well when you're outside of your house. Now, if I was inside my house in my bedroom on my PC and I was just connected via Wi-Fi, I don't think I would have any problems. But with at least a 10 megabit connection, the 720p with a high frame rate seemed to work very well. Definitely worth the $25, especially considering that the PS4 Remote Play app is completely free.